Hello there, everyone. How are you all doing? It's your sister in Christ again, Morayo. <laughs> and you're welcome to my channel, Elizabeth Mo. I just want to share a scripture with you today that I found. And then, um, yes, I hope that we'll be encouraged by it. And um, the Holy Spirit will minister more unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. So while I was doing my devotions, I came across this um, scripture and I'm going to be reading from the NLT version. And it's found in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and I'm reading verse 4. It says, farmers will wait for perfect weather, never plant. <laughs> and if they watch every cloud, they never harvest. So in other words, what do I get from this? Because I've seen two things there. I've seen the season and I've seen the weather. I know that God says in the book of Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22, it says that as long as the earth remaineth, seed time, which is plant time, and harvest time shall not cease. Ecclesiastes 3 also tells me that there is a, season, there is a time and a season for all things. And it also mentioned seed time and it mentioned harvest time. So God is telling us here that do not allow the weather to affect that season. Okay, which means that, and um, I'm sorry, which means that this, the weather should not and would not affect the season. That is the dictionary meaning of the weather. The weather is a state of the atmosphere at a particular time. So in other words, it doesn't matter what the state of the atmosphere is in whatever season that you are. If it's time for you to plant, go out there and plant. If it's time for you to harvest, go out there and harvest. Because God has already said that seed time and harvest time will not cease. He didn't say that the weather would not change. So the weather is subject to changes. So for example, like in the UK, I know that even when it's summertime, when they, that, that is the time when there's supposed to be sunshine, all around sunshine. You know what? People can find windy times there. You can find raining times there. But that does not mean or that does not change the fact that it is summertime. Summertime is summertime. It doesn't matter what the weather says. So which means that you can also have lots of distractions. Do not allow that to stop you from taking your opportunity and enjoying what you have to enjoy. It doesn't matter what the state of the atmosphere says. What matters is a particular season that you find yourself into, in, 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 that you find yourself in. So when you know and you expressly know that this is your harvest time and the situation around you does not tell you that this is harvest time, do you know what you're going to do? You're going to listen to the word of God. You're going to make sure that you stand in that season and you go out there and grab it. Okay? That's what you're going to do. Even in your spiritual life, when you see that things are not working or things are not seem to be working according to the seasons that God has laid down for your life, you're going to stand up in prayers. You're going to stand up in action. You're going to stand up and take what rightfully belongs to you. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to wait and say, oh, the weather is not favorable today. Guess what? You're going to lose out on all things. That's what it means. You're going to lose out. So if you're waiting for something to be so certain before you take a move, <laughs> I'm sorry, you might, you, you might just lose it and nobody wants to lose. Because time waits for nobody and opportunities are golden. You don't want, you, you don't want to lose it. You want to grab it just as it comes. Okay. So that's the words that have come to tell us today that possibility, there are possibilities that there will be distractions, that there will be failures, but guess what? You've got to walk in the season that God has written for you. So I just want us to take a minute to pray and say, God Almighty, I want to thank you so much that you have made the seasons laid down for me. And I pray that I will not allow the distractions of this world to take me away from the seasons that you have laid down. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me to be spiritually woke to every season that you have laid down for the perfection of your glory in my life. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name I pray. Amen. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, this would be a very good and wonderful opportunity for you to do that. Okay, so join this family and um, I'll speak with you in the very next one. Bye.